This is LG's LAP340, or more easily remembered as the sound plate. This is part of a new generation of speaker systems that we're going to see a whole lot more of in 2014. It basically is a different take on a sound bar. We flatten things out, use some of the space to get some big audio. Uh, it can be used to support a television or sit right underneath it. Let's look a little bit closer. For $400, you might think that you're going to get several inputs and an output. But that's not the case. If we take a look at the back of the sound plate, you'll see there's just four simple buttons on the left side. You've got a single optical input, a power port, and then what you can't see is that it does offer a Bluetooth connection. So you can stream audio from your mobile device or, or laptop if you want to. You can see that simplicity borne out in the remote. I mean, obviously we've got just a very few large buttons. On the front, there's no display. There's just uh, this LED that blinks three different colors depending on whether it's powered on in Bluetooth pairing mode or uh, the volume is being adjusted. Uh, so, you know, there's not a whole lot of feedback coming from the sound plate. But then again, it doesn't need to do any of that. All it does is it takes the sound coming from your TV and amplifies it. So how's it sound? Well, you'd be surprised. It actually has a decent amount of bass and that's due in part to these two subwoofers that they've built into the bottom of the speaker. All that bass comes out of the side of the speaker through these ports, so it's not so sensitive to where you place it relative to the wall behind it. What we can't really show you are the little tiny drivers that line the front of this thing. And you know, they sound decent in the mid-range. We wish there was a little bit more sparkle in the treble. It doesn't have the zing that we hoped it would have. It sounds much better for movies than it does for music. So to put things in perspective, at $400 you can get better sound from an entry-level sound bar, but that's going to come with a separate wireless subwoofer that you have to place. And when you think about the form factor, there's a convenience here that we think a lot of people are going to like. And so does LG. This is just a first generation version. The company has already announced the replacement, which is going to have a Blu-ray player inside and a subwoofer on the outside. I think what we're seeing here is the first gen of something that's going to become really popular.